My first memories of, you know, of sword fighting is uh, the old Errol Flynn movies and Basil Rathbone and Zorro and, and the Adventures of Robin Hood. Well, why don't you give up? You can see I'm a better swordsman. On a typical day, you might see Eddie Floyd cruising along on a chopper he built himself or working at his Floyd VW. But in his mind, and with his students, he is an action hero. Retreat. Advance. Retreat. No matter what you do, if you stay with Sword Play Alliance long enough, you'll eventually be a sword fighter who, during the week, I'd I do surgery and stuff, you know, it's just a sideline, but really, I'm, I'm a swords. Eddie was 21 and living in Birmingham when he chanced to meet a man who shared the passion for sword play he felt watching his movie heroes as a boy. The late Hank Reinhardt became Eddie's mentor. In the mid-70s, me and Hank, we would be out there practicing and, and we would, you know, be all tired and hot, sweaty, get done, and we'd look at each other and say, Wow, wouldn't it be great to make a living doing this? And he has done just that. Today, Eddie is the sword fighter he dreamed of becoming, teaching the art to like-minded swordsmen and women. He's making his own mark, too, with authentic swords for Hollywood heroes like the ones he grew up watching. It was great when I got that call and said, you know, your plane ticket's on the way, we're going to pay you some real money. And you're going to get to go to Europe and, and design these weapons. Pretty exciting for a, a, a kid from uh, Rough Edge, Alabama, to uh, get to do something like that. Finding uh, toys at Toys R Us of Kevin Turbo was really great. That's how you know when you really made it, when they're making toys of your stuff. From that young man watching his action heroes on television to his own Hollywood creations, Eddie Floyd is truly living a dream, a fantasy. And here in Calhoun County, it is absolutely Alabama. At Swordplay Alliance, I'm Fred Hunter. On guard.